What's up everybody, it's Mover, and I want to just start by saying this is not just an aviation channel, this is um, sometimes a car channel, sometimes just writing, it's an author vlog, so I talk about a lot of different stuff, and today uh, what I had hoped this episode to be was me picking up a 2020 uh, GMC Sierra 2500 HD AT4 because I was excited about getting that. I was going to trade in my Yukon and have a vehicle that could tow the Corvette to do more Corvette content and uh, maybe go to more tracks and around the country and stuff like that. But that's not what this is today because as the title suggests, it went horribly wrong. And I know most of you hate clickbait titles and hate, you know, taking too long to get to the point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the quick story right now, and then you can watch it for yourself because I got most of it on tape. So my plan was to get uh, a diesel truck. I've had diesels in the past. I've been a GM fanboy for the entire time I've been driving. In fact, I just counted. I've had 17 uh, GM vehicles in my life, and 14 of those 17 have been brand new. So I'm pretty loyal to GM and have been. Uh, forever. In fact, my most recent uh, big GM purchase was a 2019 Corvette ZR1, which is a pretty big purchase. So uh, I wanted to have a GMC to tow the ZR1. It just made sense. And I like the 2500, do not like the Chevy um, 2500 front end. It just, it's ugly. So searching for this AT4, because I thought that was the best truck for me. And in Louisiana, it was just very hard to find one. They're just, uh, supply is very low due to COVID and dealers weren't all that willing to work. So I did some searching around using the uh, GM uh, website. And because I'm military, I get GM supplier pricing through the GM uh, military discount website. So if you're interested in that, uh, check that out. But, um, I contacted a dealer, we worked out a deal, we had a signed purchase agreement that I was going to trade in my 2017 Yukon, uh, which I love by the way. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with it other than I wanted something uh, that could tow more and could safely tow. Um, you know, because 6.2 is, is okay for towing, but it's, it's better to have the torque of the diesel. So uh, we did the deal over email. I contacted, it was Chris Meyer, uh, Buick GMC in Daphne, Alabama. We made the deal after a bunch of back and forth, and you'll see in the video, I actually talk about it. Uh, there, there was a lot of standard salesman tactics, but at the end of the day, we had an, a deal that I was happy with, and we signed a purchase agreement uh, at the trade-in value and at the price for the truck. So uh, I couldn't go pick it up on Thursday, uh, or sorry, on Friday, because I had some commitments with the sheriff's office. So I decided to uh, wait till Monday and they were okay with that. So Monday, uh, I went and drove. It's a two, and a, it's a two hour drive from uh, where I live here in Mandeville to the dealership. I picked up Brandon on the way because I was like, hey, you know, why don't you share in the experience with me? You know, I thought it'd be cool. Brandon, as you may remember, was on the helicopter videos. We get there. Uh, after picking up the cashier's check that um, was the remainder from the trade-in value and what I owed uh, to, to pick up to buy the truck, not a, not a loan, but just you know paying cash for the truck. And uh, the salesman's nowhere to be found. We wait, we wait, we wait. Finally find the salesman. He says, hey, I need your keys. And I'm like, what for? He's like, well, we want to go uh, make sure that the, the trade is good. I'm like, well, we already have a deal. So uh, what are we looking at? He's like, ah, it's just standard procedure. So he takes my keys to go get the trade. They bring out the truck. Uh, we go take a look at it. I noticed that the running boards are missing. So I'm like, where are those? So they said, oh, well, we didn't install them. We forgot. We're going to need to install them. So while we're sitting there waiting and waiting, I had hoped to be in and out in an hour, but I guess that wasn't realistic. While we were waiting, uh, the sales manager who I had spoken to previously comes in and says, uh, your tires are at 430 seconds and um, that's not going to work. Uh, I was giving you trade in based on the uh, highest value uh, possible, which your tires, are, you were misrepresenting the condition of your vehicle because the tires are worn and I'm not gonna do this deal. So we go back and forth. I say some pretty choice words to them and we leave, the deal is over. So a couple things, their own website says that they don't recommend replacing tires until 2.30 seconds. 
Um, but I came home and I actually looked at the tire uh, gauge depth, which you'll see at the end, but all of them were 630 seconds or better. So that was an outright lie. What they were trying to do was uh, basically get me to pay an extra one or $2,000. He told me it was 1300 for new tires, but they were trying to back out of the deal, even though we had a signed binding contract uh, to do it. But here's the truth data. You can see for yourself and you know judge for yourself. It's in a vlog format because I thought I was going to buy a truck. I mean, I was driving to Alabama to go pick up my truck today, not to spend four hours in a vehicle and end up with nothing. So here we go. I hope you enjoy it. All right, so, uh, you know, another car vlog. We haven't done one of these in a while, although it's different. This is a different vehicle. It's not a car, I'll give you that much right now. Um, but uh, today we're going to, um, I'm gonna pick up Brandon, who you remember from the helicopter videos uh, with the uh, Harrison County Sheriff's Office. He was off today and we're gonna take a ride. Could not find the vehicle I wanted in Louisiana. So I'm going all the way to Mobile, or actually Gaffney, Alabama. And we're gonna go pick up. I've already done the deal um, online. Everything is set up. All I have to do is sign the paperwork and um, hand them the check. And we're going home with the uh, the new vehicle. So should be a painless process. I hope it's always a dealership, so you just never know. But uh, should be about an hour, hour and a half to get there uh, once we pick up Brandon. Uh, go to the bank and then go to the dealership. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Just a little change of pace. So uh, here we go. Hi, Brandon. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> going to get a truck. Are we going to get a truck? I never told him what we're going to get. Get a truck, I guess. I hope so. I spent, dude. I, I spent more time preparing this thing for trade-in than I have any other vehicle because I want it to be as painless as possible when we show up. Looks good. I don't want them to be like, well, you know, uh, why don't we just knock off a couple grand? Cause you know, this is uh, you know, we did it sight unseen and no, here you go. Give me the keys, we're out. We got to go to the bank, get the cashier's check and then go. Brian. Hey Brian, good morning, we're on our way. All right. Uh, okay, I got it back and clean up. We're gonna be there. Uh, I got. I'm going straight to the, the Hancock Bank right by your dealership. I got to go get the cashier's check there. Uh, uh huh. And then I'm. I'll be there at 9:30, so I'm expected to be to you probably 9:45 or 10 o'clock. All right. All right. We'll see you in a little bit. I'm on it. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Sounds like it's very well. Let's Let's hope so. Yeah. I mean. Well, because I got to drive all the way to Madisonville to go drop the truck off for paint correction stuff. So the the dealership, I mean, he's a nice guy, but they still, they always play these games. I figured with Corona, they would have gotten off of that. It would have just been all email. It would have just been like, oh, yeah, you know, here's our best deal. Here's your best deal. But no, we still go back and forth. And what ended up happening, we went back and forth a whole bunch of times on the trade-in on this because they can't budge off the price they're giving me um, supplier pricing because it's military the GM military discount so it gives it to everybody yeah. uh, and they do it for first responders too so if you buy a GM vehicle you get it at supplier pricing <laughs> he's not a GM guy <laughs> so that part they couldn't budge on and actually some dealers I talked to in Louisiana wouldn't even honor supplier pricing they were like yeah we're, we're not that the trucks too hot we can sell them so I went uh, I found this this truck it was you know how I wanted it except it was a 2020 which the only difference between a 20 and a 21 is the uh, wireless carplay which I plug it in hazard so reported it, um, ahead yes, thank you um, so the sticking point was the trade-in which it always is and they were lower than all the other dealers on the trade-in value so you know I told them look you know here's the offer and then when they came back they gave me, it was like three grand higher than what I did. And I go, where'd you even get this math? That doesn't even match your numbers. And they're like, well, sorry, we, we, we messed up. I'm like, okay, well, what's the out the door number? And they gave me the breakdown and it was a $900 dealer dock fee, $900. Stupid. 
That, that's crazy. So I, I did the math, tax title and license myself. And I said, here is my, no kidding, final offer, out the door price. And the, sa the sales manager called me and he said, no, we can't do it. Or sorry, he emailed me. He's like, look, you know, this is our offer. You know, if you want to do it, close the business on Friday because they were, or Saturday, because they were trying to sell it before the end of the month, October 31st. So I came back and I called, I, I called the guy or I emailed him. I said, look, this is my number. We're done. And he goes, well, I'm sorry. Let us know if you have any business in the future. So I called him. I go, look, man, we're not that far off. You know, we were about a thousand dollars off. And I said, the biggest difference right now, the trade in numbers, right? It's that you got all these fees tacked on and it's a thousand dollars. I said, I'm not giving you, you know, that's, that's crazy. And he goes, well, you know, the doc fee used to not be that high, but you know, it's gone up since I've been working. And I go, well, look, I, I'm from Louisiana. It's a $200 state law. That, that's as high as they can go. And he goes, well, you know, uh, your taxes are much higher. And I go, well, the taxes don't matter. You're pocketing this money just to do a the, the doc fee, the documents. And he goes, well, we can charge that. I've got eight trucks on the lot. I usually have 50. These trucks will sell. Demand is high. I'll get rid of these trucks. And I go, you know, it's the end of the month, right? And he goes, yeah, well, I'll sell these trucks. I'm like, okay, well, good luck to you. 45 minutes later, the salesman calls me and he goes, we'll do it at the number. Can you come pick it up tomorrow? And I go, no, man, I got a sheriff's office detail. I, I, I can't, you know, I, the best I can do is Monday. Oh, let me get back to you. He calls me back and he goes, yep, the, the owner or the general manager of the store is the one that overrode the sales, uh, the sales manager and me and gave me the deal that you wanted. You can come pick it up Monday. And I'm like, okay, sure, dude, whatever. You didn't have to do that. Some things never change. I didn't need theatrics. All I no. needed was just tell me, here's the price. Yes you know, or no. that's Yeah, the yes or no, so I can move on to the next one that's got the exact same truck that I'm looking for. So after that, it's been smooth sailing. You know, we, we did the documents and all that stuff online. Uh, well, purchase agreement, we haven't done any other stuff. I got the title of this thing in that backpack back there, and hopefully we go to the bank, because the banks weren't open this weekend, I couldn't do it at my house, um, get the cashier's check, walk in, sign the paperwork, hand them the check, high five, go home. What do you think the odds are of that actually happening that way? Close to zero. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I guess I parked too far away. It said internet sales. This whole thing has been on the internet, so excuse me for thinking it's the internet sales. There you go. Right here. He said it was in the back getting cleaned. Got the mask up for safety. Oh, hi. Good morning. Y'all here to see someone today? Brian. Brian. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, good morning. I'll let him know you're here. Is that it? Is it blue? Yeah. There it is. I guess it might be in that. Oh, there he is. They found some more stuff wrong with it. Hmm. I guess we go back in and wait. Look at this Corvette. Stingray. It's a new Denali. Oh, look. In-flight entertainment. You get a whole iPad for your demon spawn. You got all that stuff on there? Yeah. So their auto prep package is a complete interior and exterior detail, removal of transit protection material, removal of protection, chemical coatings, pinstripes, nitrogen in the tires, and clear door edge guards for $595, and then a cargo tray is $165. So for them to do the PDI, I guess, is kind of pinstripe. 
My dad used to put pinstripes on everything he bought. You can buy that. That's kind of a pop-off thing, but you know, is what it is. Yeah, this one's got the same thing. How you doing, man? I saw the truck back there. How's it going? Oh, on the other side over there. I'll go with you. All right, come on. They finishing up in the truck? Yeah. Uh huh. Looking at I'll go grab it from it in just a few minutes. We're driving it. All right, jump in. I'm gonna pull it down and let Luke look at it over. Where are we going? I'm gonna you jump in the other side. I'm gonna pull it to the other side and let Luke look over everything. Yeah, I'm gonna see that building over there in the back of that corner. I saw y'all come in. I figured that was you because I had two this morning back to back. Yeah, I even brought it to you less miles than what we said. Did he say we're going to go drive the truck? Are we really test driving a truck I've already bought? Where are the running boards? No, there's running boards. Oh, this has got to go. Hey, Brian, where's the running boards? How y'all doing? Well, he should have got the back of the night, too, Brian. Yeah, come on. We just go, come on. They're not installed? They haven't installed them yet. So they come, they, they ship the running boards out to us first before the trucks get here. But they come with running boards. Even when it's done, it's not done, you know? Yeah. Told you. It never changes, then nothing ever changes. What's wrong with this camera? How many errors in this little adventure? Wow. At least I got the check. But you ain't got no trope. That is true. <laughs> that is true. We might be riding away on those two. I call him not the moped. He just stalled it out. I don't think he's experienced it. <laughs> he's as experienced as he thinks. How we doing? Wait a minute to get back, he's out driving it. Okay. So you got a little camera in your hand? Yeah. Oh, we'll go pro action. Free to get back, get back there. Like I say, I got him putting the running boards on it. Okay. I mean, we already agreed on the trade in, so we'll, where's, yeah. where's the paperwork? I'm just waiting for him to get back here. It's Luke, the one, my, my big boss. Yeah. Is that Luke who's, who's doing it? Yeah. I mean, we got a purchase agreement, so let's get the paperwork rolling. Let's get out of here. I got to get back, man. I don't have time. I, I had hoped this would all be yeah. ready to sign. We walk in, walk out. Like, I don't... How long are the running boards going to take? Uh, it shouldn't take long. But they got, I got, they got right on when I took them over there. What's happening? These vehicles are being shipped out because of the COVID-19 when GM, you know, shut down for yeah. two months. Oh, yeah, they're no. shipping cars out, then they're shipping the running boards out after the fact. Yeah. Why the running board, because normally the running board will come in from the factory already on the vehicle. Yeah, 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 I know. I know, it's a, so, it should have been part of the PDI. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when they PDI'd it, they didn't do it. No, they, they weren't here. Wow. Yeah, the running board wasn't here. Um, and they shipped the trucks out before they did the running board. Yeah. 
instead of just holding them up there at the plant waiting on the running boards to get there, they ship the trucks out. I got another one sitting out there just like that without running boards. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't know how far how far does he usually go. No, Luke right around the corner, right around the lot here. Somebody, he'll be show back up in a minute. You get the paperwork come to you. Okay. All right. Let me get you out of here. Thank you. It's lunchtime. I am hungry as hell. Right, right? Well, we'd be on our way if. I told you there was zero percent chance. Of us being in and out in an hour. What time is it? Well, they got 23 minutes to prove that. Yeah. This one doesn't have running boards. No, because they the dealer hasn't installed any running boards. What, you, what was he saying? They, there's another truck over there without running boards. No, he was saying that they ship it, and then they ship the running board separate, and they just never install it. So it's like, oh, hey, we need running boards. Oh, okay. Sorry, coach. I, I had one. It actually, I think it, you're talking about the sleeve? Yeah, it goes inside of there. It, it should come with one. Oh, really? Yeah, my other one had one. I mean, I've had... I might have it an adapter at home if they don't come with one. Could have got this one cheaper. How much is this one? Seventy-seven something. Oh, because it doesn't have a sunroof. Is that right? No, it's got a sunroof. Well, it's missing something. Can't Probably the fifth wheel or something. Oh, you had the uh, gooseneck ditch yeah. already? No, I I just that's. Oh, you know why? This is the only color they don't charge you for. Blue is five hundred dollars more. Well, that's a two thousand dollar difference there, pal. Oh, you said seventy seven. Yeah. Seventy eight. I thought it was seventy nine. So. Uh -uh. Math is hard. I was looking at the sticker. I thought it said seventy nine. Probably when they added their, you know, the air in the tires and the all the other bullshit that they put on it. What's the price on this? One? Probably. Does it have air in the tires or no? Hey, look, it's got the little air in the tire sticker. 82. 82,450. But wait, we had to charge. 83,2. Yeah, because we got to charge you for your air. That's probably where the difference was that first time around when they were like. It's only two wheel drive, too. <laughs> hey, Dale. hey um, your truck needs tires. Uh, it's 4.30 seconds. I just, I took it. To both of my service departments, and it needs, they both need to be replaced. Okay. And when I talked to you earlier, you know, 44 is top of the line. I mean, that's within the, that's okay, the top now, number. Are we doing this deal or not? Not at 44, I can't. All right, well. <clears throat> I mean, because you told me it was perfect, and it's not. I didn't tell you that. You, I, told, you, I told him. You told me all it was a star, a star to the windshield. There's okay. nothing else wrong with it. You said it was top right, of the market. Well, let's go. Yeah, All right, so we're leaving the dealer in the Yukon. Um, Got ugly. That was ugly. Yeah, that was bad. So we had to wait. They didn't have the running board installed. He takes my Yukon to go appraise the trade, which I thought was a little weird because we already had a signed purchase agreement. A signed purchase agreement purchase agreement said you know as is we're we've, we've agreed to a deal so um, while we were waiting on the the uh, running boards to be installed he goes and test drives it comes back and he says the tires are bald and they won't make them back which is BS um, I mean you looked at them yeah yeah I mean so he said that we can't do the deal as written. He wants more money, and he says it's it's thirteen hundred dollars to put four tires on. In which case, I told him to go fuck themselves, and literally, literally, I told him. And then he said he was gonna. What did he say he was gonna do? You weren't gonna make it back home. I wasn't gonna make it back home talking to him like that. I, yeah. So um, they tried to do their standard 
uh, dealer tactics, which I guess works on people. Yeah. It wouldn't, not, it wouldn't work. not only did they, uh, every vehicle they had, they had a $600 upcharge just to do the PDI, to put air in the tires, to take the plastic off that it ships with, and to clean the interior. This, this dealer, I should have read the reviews. I mean, so we just drove two hours for nothing, but I would rather drive two hours and walk away from a deal than deal, yeah, get sucked in and the last minute, oh, you've driven this far, how about another $1,300? I'm just not, that's not gonna happen. So uh, I had hoped this was gonna be a blog about buying a new truck, but instead it's a blog about a horror story with a dealer uh, which there's so many of them on YouTube. There's probably yeah. A lot of people I mean this to that. whether this is um, you know I mean this is what was it Chris Meyer GMC yeah yeah I if you're in the Alabama area I'd probably avoid them because you're gonna get upcharged for air and for uh, anything and the salesman from the beginning was horrible um, Bryant was terrible. And when they finally got the sales manager, I mean, this whole thing from the games they've played, oh, we finally, I would not be surprised if these idiots call me and they're like, oh, we're, we're so sorry, but it's over. I mean, that's enough of a sign for me. Um, I have never, I don't know of any tires that are gonna be $1,300, but buying tires is not a problem. We had a deal. We had a deal. They knew how many miles were on the truck or on the Yukon. They knew what they were getting into. They waited till I got here um, with a sign. Both both parties have signed the purchase agreement with a signed purchase agreement to say, um, you know, we're not going to honor that. So, absolutely not, not gonna, not gonna be a part of it and um, move on to the next thing. So, um, that was interesting. Told you to buy a Ram. Told me to buy a Ram. What a terrible, um, terrible experience. I mean, it'd be one thing if. We hadn't made the deal and they said we'll have to evaluate your trade-in before you go but they had all the information the mileage um you know well, that's part of the tactic yeah is to oh yeah bring it we get we're gonna we're gonna do what, whatever we can do to make a deal happen get you all the way here especially you being two hours away and then, yeah and then at the last minute drop 1300 dollars in your lap and say oh well you gotta have tires yeah it would have been something if it wasn't the tires it would have been something Oh, I know. They they would have found. I mean, I cleaned this thing up though. I mean, they they didn't have anything they could go on. Um, you know, I the tires are in good condition for the mileage that's on the truck. I mean, that's they're not. I never at one, any point said that they were brand new tires, and I never said that you know that they were bald because they're neither. They're forty two thousand mile tires. Yeah. And then this whole you're not. Get, what do you say? You're not even going to make it home. Yeah. I mean, that is that is pure scare tactics right there. That is just trying to play off of um, top quality professionalism. Yeah, really, really good. Uh, so, oh, well, all right. Anything else? That's the end of that. This vlog's ending early. Let's go eat. All right, we're going to eat. I'm hangry. Back home, we'll do some uh, tread depth analysis here. Uh, what with this. All right, so left front, 6 30 seconds, 8 30 seconds, uh, a little bit uneven. There we go, 7 30 seconds, 6 30 seconds, 6 30 seconds. So, worst part, 6 30 seconds. Okay, go to the left rear. Six thirty seconds. Six thirty seconds. Seven thirty seconds. Six thirty seconds. Okay. Seven thirty seconds. Seven thirty seconds. Six 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 thirty seconds. 
some more time. Excuse me. Oh, no. Fire with the doors off. All Fox Don't be a douche. Rule number one. Make them tell you now.